In the short term, we will begin the implementation of a risk clearance system at the pre-arrival stage, and this will make it possible for compliant importers to sit in their comfort of their homes or offices and get customs clearance. Every activity under this system will be fed into the risk engine to enable us keep records of importers. Furthermore, we would be introducing the first port rule in Ghana. This provides the avenue for duty of goods destined for countries like Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, or Togo to be paid here in Ghana. We will also push for the introduction of intelligent 3D scanners. And this would be an improvement over the 2D scanners we currently have. On mandatory joint inspections from 1st of September this year, we are not only going, we are not going to physically open and inspect all containers. We are introducing a risk engine, as I said, which will assign risk levels to importers based on their level of compliance. When the need arises for inspections, the agencies needed for inspections will be informed about the inspection time and place for joint inspections, and they will have to sign in on an electronic device at the inspection shed to confirm their participation. We have mapped out a process flow which will take effect from 1st September 2017. Agencies and stakeholders presented paperless process flows which we have merged into a process flow that will enable compliant importers to really sit in the comfort of their offices or homes and get customs clearance. Terminals which are not ready uh, for automation by 1st September will be left behind and people who do not comply will be sanctioned. Payment of duties and fees may be made electronically via existing modes of payment or on Ghana's trading hub which accepts mobile money, visa cards, GX link cards, online and branch payments. Fees and duties payment will be made electronically with duty payments made available via all banks in addition to Ecobank and GCB.